Alright, alright, alright. What's up guys? Sniper Nick here. We're gonna go over a trade recap of Axum. It was a $663 win on an OTC breakout. So check this out. We're zooming in from today, which is a couple days after we purchased this. But we went ahead and bought it and did a little overnight play on uh this breakout here of uh that 188 so it was holding that 188 going into power hour uh on that day it was 27 the day that it just broke and uh, let's dive right into live action so check this out this is us you know getting ready to get in so this is the one day one minute chart of axum and as you can see even it's a little bit choppy but compared to this chart's long term chart the volume is actually pretty good and compared to its average volume so you want to make sure you know when you get into a stock you always know you, you want to go look at the re uh, the average volume and see you know where we're at going into power hour here there's only 43 minutes left in the day you know it's 12 17 on my clock but this is western uh, pacific time so in the eastern time it's 3 17 so only 43 minutes left in the day so let's look what we have to risk and what we're looking at for reward so we went ahead and threw the bid in at 205 and what we were doing is we were risking that two dollar support we're going to give it a little bit of room early to that 195 but really we want to see it ideally hold that two dollar support going in to the rest of the day um, so let's see what happens like I said there's only uh, 42 minutes left in the day it's 318 Eastern time and um, now we're locked in 2195 shares at 205 so we're getting some buyers here as we got in so that's pretty nice um, you know coming into power you usually see uh, volume pickup uh, it's also what's really nice about this play is it's holding that 188 month a month breakout which is pretty cool so check this out when we get in we actually see buyers right away which is you know pretty good it's giving us some a little bit of a cushion and as you can see here as we fast forward a little bit we see a, a little bit of a push and we actually see a new high a day coming into 1224 sorry 324 I'm just gonna stay Eastern time 325 um, and uh, and now it starts to top out at 218, but we got a nice little push, and now we got a cushion to play off of. And since we do have that pu push, and we do have that cushion, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play it based on that 205 spot where we bought it. Now that's gonna be my new risk. So that's what's nice about these plays. You can always adjust where you're gonna get in and get out. Um, with Axum here, uh, we you know you. It was a good snipe, and that's why we call ourselves the stock snipers. It's ideal to get a good spot when you buy. The buy spot is so key because that really gives you the room and gives you the comfort to to and the flexibility to play how you want it to play. So you know, you saw with this, we're risking that five cent spot of two, um, and so now we have some cushion. You know, we're not even nervous anymore. We it's a risk free play now that we moved our cut up. And look at this, we're closing the day at 215. So we're closing around highs and actually created some 210 support. Check this out. We actually did the play on the Hollywood Boardwalk. Uh, it was pretty cool. We were out in LA. We brought some friends out there. So check this out. They were able to take some footage of us. This was uh, right there in Power Hour. And it's 12 o'clock in LA. So you still got the whole day left. Mark closed at one. It's pretty awesome. And now let's fast forward to the next day here. And here we go. All right. So check this out. So so check this out. So here we go. It's just opening up. As you can see, 9:30. Again, the clock on the top is Pacific time. So 9:30. Shit on the Pacific time. Bad props, you guys. You get up early. What's cool is the market's done early. But whatever. Here we go. Fast forward. The goal was if we got 10%, we we're gonna take some at the bell. So it does get that gap up to 220, 225 around. That would be that was the goal spot of selling. It touches that 225, which is a nice push. Um, and uh, so now we're we're watching this thing, and we're looking, you know, where we're gonna put half out, and. It's holding 220, but now you know it's coming down a little bit. So we decided to put a half sell in, a little less than half, and we were able to get out right away. It took us right away. Now fast forward a little bit. Check this out. It actually held that 219 spot, and it got a huge push after that. So you know, played it a little bit too safe, but hey, already secured around 9% in the bag. And uh, now we're looking to sell into this push here. And that was the goal, is to get a gap up and a push over the high of yesterday. Once it broke that and it held the 220s areas, it ended up flying up. And look at this. This is six minutes into the day. 
And, uh, you know, we bought it power hour uh, in the last 40 minutes of the day la last night. Now we're looking at selling it here in the next six minutes. And that's, you know, the bread and butter. That's our favorite plays. If you review our plays, it's most of them. And uh, now check this out. We're looking to sell into this push here. You got the buyers still coming in, which is pretty awesome. Um, if we can get just under 250, we'd love to do that. And so that's what we do. We go ahead, throw the limit in, and this is to sell the rest of our shares. Um, it was 1,195 shares left. That's, and uh, let's see what happens here. So it does actually pop, so check that out. It's touching 249, now we're on the ask. Let's check this out. Seven minutes into the market. The bid falls a little bit, but look at this. The ass is getting eaten, it looks like, and bam, there it is. So we get eaten up, and 250 has some big sellers, but nice. We are all out, and that was a quick play. Seven minutes into the day, we secured a total of 663 plus, I think. Uh, 663 or 660 plus, we could say, and, uh, and that was it. You know, stuck to the plan. We were risking that five cents. Uh, you know, the reward here, we ended up making around 45 cents at the high. Um, and check this out now. After we end up sell selling, it actually topped out at 250. So you want to make sure you, you know, don't get greedy. If you see that big enough push in the morning, you know, take it. We were able to secure the bag really quick, and it's all the way back down to the 220s. So good trade review of Axum right there. Again, a 663 plus win. Uh, if you have any questions, always free, free, feel free to watch out or reach out. Sorry. And uh, you guys can always check us out. We're active on Instagram. That's where we're most active. You can pop in there. Check out what we got going on. Uh, DM us if you ever have any questions. It's at Stock Snipers. Um, also, you can check us out on Twitter. Um, you know, if you want to chat throughout the day, go into Twitter. You could tweet us out again. Uh, for the tag here, it's actually at the Stock Snipers, um, so you can look us up there. And lastly, Facebook, make sure you check us out there. Um, we're gaining some traction there. We got some people that are reaching out with cool stock ideas and talking about stocks on there, so make sure you check us out. And lastly, if you're interested in checking out our website and checking out the subscription and what we got going on with the Sniper community, this is our website. It's www.thestocksnipers.com. Once you get an account, you get these four beautiful features, and you can always reach out and talk to us. Uh, much love, guys. Let's keep this train rolling. Let's all keep making money together. It's way better when you do it together. So feel free to subscribe. Let's talk about it. Much love, guys. We'll talk to you later. See you from the snipers.